Uh, <gasps> tip list. No? no. Let's just go into... Uh, uh, we don't have a title. Uh, Gamification. No, I don't know. No, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was aggressive. <laughs> no, your, your idea sucks. <laughs> I don't have an idea, but yours sucks. Um, um, okay. Not... Uh, no, sh- beards, on, beards on games. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with your beard. Uh, no, we're not doing that stupid. You're stupid. Three, two, one. Hey guys, my name is Corey. I'm Kyle. And by the time you see this, we'll have a title yeah, for it, this. It's going to be lame. Super lame. I'm already tired of this. You're tired of me. No, I'm That's not tired. So we, we did Kyle's last idea, which is oldies but goodies, and we uploaded it, and it got blocked. All because of Thank Don, you, Don Henley. Don Henley. All because of Don Henley. <laughs> Fucking Don Henley. So that's going to be on our Patreon page. We're going to do another one and try to put it on this one. So we're going to continue this oldies but goodies yeah. trend. But hopefully won't get any butthurt freaking 80s musicians trying to... Anyway, They're not going to watch it. Th- this one's about games. Yes, games. And we're Big both gamers. Games. You can't see it there, but I actually have a PS5. I don't. I still have a PS4. <laughs> Third world country. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I haven't played it in a while. We are playing Elden, Elden Ring, and I just I haven't yeah. played it in a while. Uh, I'll, every now and again, it's, it'll say Corey High is online. I was like, oh, no shit. But then I realized it's, it's Liam. probably Liam. It's yeah. Liam playing uh, some stupid uh, baseball. Was he playing the show? The show, yeah. So <clears throat> we're going to do... Uh, that was a face pube. We're going to do, um, <laughs> I hope that, I hope there's gamers out there that will, that will jump into this channel. I hope so too. I hope there's game gamers that like they're, they're subscribed to us and like, Oh shit, they're doing games now. Yeah. And then um, they see like what we're doing and like, ah, nah, you guys suck at this. Fuck this. Um, <laughs> so we'll try to really expand this and maybe put some gameplay yeah. on our own videos. Ooh. We can go back old school. Oh, <laughs> we got some funny shit. Yeah. Anyway. So this is going to be for yeah, the game. Freaking scorn. Blooper reel. Scorn. So who's the developer? Scorn. Bitch, I told you I didn't know anything know. about this game. I <laughs> and I was getting prepared for it. Y'all know how we do. We try to do research. And he was like, let's do a game. I was like, okay, let's do the uh, Scorn video. Um, and I do know that it is, uh, you know, for fans of horror films, It, I mean, uh, horror games, it should be... Should be fun. I guess yeah. I guess this is kind of like um, Dead Space, stuff like that. I really don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. So if y'all know, let us know. But we're going to watch the trailer. Yeah. Give you whether we would play it or not. Yeah. And then we'll go. So here we go. Okay. Score! Desolate and decayed. A grisly nightmare of macabre perception. Greetings. Greetings. I'm your host, Doug Bradley. And I invite you to join me as we explore Scorn's mesmerizing labyrinth of odd forms and somber tapestries. So it does feel very Dead Space like. It does. In the middle of a desolate hellscape filled with biomechanical contraptions, part flesh, part machine. H.R. Giger inspiration there. An yeah. industrial civilization. From now alien. lying in decay. You know Doug ruin. Bradley is, right? Yes. Okay. A hidden fauna sleeps within the underbelly of the world, wanting nothing more than to be left undisturbed. Scorn has been carefully crafted with great attention to detail. Everything is focused on building a specific atmosphere. From a unique organic ecosystem, to an unsettling soundscape created by Ethek and Lustmord. Scorn has no dialogue, so most of the storytelling comes from the environment, discovering the ever-present symbiotic relationships and how things are connected equips you with the tools to progress. While there is shooting within the game, Scorn is not a shooter. Every encounter must be carefully considered. 
A wrong choice could be deadly. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the twisted world of Scorn. The team at Ebb Software can't wait for you to uncover the secrets of this unique world as you experience Scorn firsthand this October. <clears throat> Just in time Are for you Halloween. prepared yeah. to unravel your inner self within Scorn's world of horror? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing PlayStation on there. Maybe that was just because it was a premiere at an Xbox Maybe. show. It could be I bad. mean, it's a big stream thing. I mean, um, uh, was it Steam? Steam, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, first off, I... I, I I was I'm getting like old school like Quake vibes and it looks it looks nothing like Quake but like when Quake first came out it was like super gross and super creepy. I mean if you go back and play Quake now it's just it, it's just like meh. Um but having it, it does it, it helps to have Doug Bradley who is the voice of Pinhead right. or who is Pinhead right. and uh from Hellraiser. And they've got new Hellraiser movies coming out. Yes, they do. I think they're doing a pre, like a TV show too. And it's an actual woman who's playing the the uh, what is it Cenobite? Yeah. Yeah. Cenobun? <laughs> Cenobuns. <laughs> um so it, it, his voice is is super unsettling and uh it it fits with that like extremely like gross like torture like you know horror porn type freaking feel and i love the biomechanical the bio what is it uh yeah biomechanical yeah biomechanical um like because I, I i was a I, I was a big well still kind of am i was a big hr giger fan um because you know when i was a kid i watched alien and then um found out who did it and then the dude's got freaking furniture what he had he's not he's gone now but like had furniture made of like human bones and stuff like that so he's a really weird weird person but like and his his like i've read his some of his art books and stuff like that and they're super unsettling and they're super they just make me uncomfortable and i get the same vibe from this like you're just watching it and, and it looks it looks really really i mean it's gorgeous but I don't know. I'm, yeah, it's unsettling. It so. reminds me a little bit of shit, I can't think of the game now. We talked about games. Um, the one where you, I think it's a, a crash. You have nothing but a camera, um, and you're kind of going through this neighborhood or this this uh, town, mm -hmm. and you you can zoom in, zoom out, and see things, but you can't really shoot. I know what you're talking about, but I can't, I can't think of it. The game. Some of y'all were out there, and I'll, and I'll feel ashamed for not yeah. knowing it. Um, but it, it it's minimalist. Mm -hmm. um, I would be interested to find out what the what I guess what the the gaming structure is like. If mm -hmm. it's not a shooter, yeah, um, it feels like it's very story driven. Um, interesting that there's no dialogue. That's really weird. I mean, I, I mean, I get it. I get it. Um, it feels like there's only one character, and you're in an underworld where probably nobody speaks. Right. Um, so I can understand that. Definitely cheaper on. On hiring actors, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Um, and all you need is music and sound effects. Yeah, they spent all their money on Doug Bradley. <laughs> that's it. That's all. That's all. The, that's all you saw. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would definitely play it. Yeah, I'd love to try it. But I don't it know that if it will it will hold my attention. Mm -hmm. Now it could be completely wrong because all we're going off of is this two minute uh, video. Yeah. So please don't get upset when you're like, you should probably have done your research and yeah. look more into the game. This is strictly like we're just going based off of this. Yeah. Um, would you play it if if you, yeah. if you saw it? You know, um, I would. I yeah. would play. Oh, it. absolutely! It just uh, what's that game? Outlast is that the game? Outlast. Is Maybe that, the that game? is out. He yeah. goes into the insane asylum with a camera. Yeah, and, and I think they did like one or two of them. They did two of them. Um, yeah. um, that uh, that game. I, that was what, the first game I played on Xbox One. I think it was. Yeah. And I remember playing it, and I, was, I brought it over to my dad's, and I'm like, all right, check this out. And within like as soon as you get into the asylum or whatever you're going into. Um, as soon as you meet that large dude and you're looking through night vision, so his eyes yes. are glowing, and I'm like, fuck this. And I, I couldn't get past that part. It's just, I don't, I don't like feeling helpless. And there was another game that came out, and I can't think of the name of it, but it was made by the guys that did Resident Evil 4. And it's super gross and super graphic. And there's one guy stalking you the whole time, and like you have to hide from him. Manhunter? And, no, I don't think so. No, that's something else. Um, anyway, um, uh, there, there's one more game I think that this kind of reminds <clears throat> me of, and again, yeah, that game's probably more a shooter, but 
but I'm, I'm talking about in the, in the aspect of looks gorgeous, has yeah. a great like storyline, but just didn't draw me in. Uh, uh, Mads, um, Mixon, uh, Mads Mickelson. What was the game? Um, oh, uh, G- oh, Grandma de Tor- uh, ah, shit. did it uh, after. Shit, now I can't remember. Um, it had um, what's his face from Walking Dead in it. Walking Dead in it, yeah. Um, and you just you're just like traveling around all the time. I can't think of it. Yeah, and I, I can't remember it either. Yeah. Um, Anyway, I had that. Yeah, you, and you when we, when COVID hit, like you drove by my house and you, you got me a copy of it and you yeah. left it on my my porch. Um, You're like, "Merry Christmas, bitch!" <laughs> I'm like, "What?" Oh, Death Stranding. Death Strand. Yeah. Uh, okay. And again, I played it for a little bit. Yeah. And then I was like, ah, I don't know. It didn't keep my attention. It's because the whole game for me, it's 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 just quests. Yeah. It's, it's the Which whole. I'm game. okay with that. If you have a if you have a main story like with Witcher, like with The Witcher Three, Witcher is all amazing. It's such a good game, and like you have a main path to go to, but you have so many side quests that you can go on. It branches yeah. off, and or like Grand Theft Auto, you, it's just it, it, yes, I, I like, get it. I, I love like like tasks or fetch quests or whatever the hell they're called um, when there's they're in context to something else, but like. When the whole game's that way, it's like, okay, I'm really bored. Well, I'm going to say something, and this may bring the whole community down on us. Um, I have not played any other Souls games besides yeah, Elden Ring. Well, I, 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 complaint, I played, played Blood, Bloodborne, Born. but yeah. I played for that for 10 minutes, and I was done with it. Um, <laughs> You're like, it can't be that bad. I'm like, play it, fucker. And then you uh, like, I hate this game. But my complaint about Elden Ring, which is an amazing game, mm-hmm. is the lack of... The quest like system. The direction. Yeah. There's no direction. I mean, Zero. there are definitely quests and things to do. Yeah. Like, you feel your way through it again. Not a Souls player. So, I, I, I know that that's the platform that if you played from the beginning, mm-hmm. you, you get used to. Yeah. But for somebody who came from like Skyrim and Witcher mm-hmm. and stuff like that, it's, it's a little yeah. disorienting. So, um, that's what I'm hoping like this isn't. It's like, just feel your way through it yeah. and good it's luck. It's probably going to be like that though. Yeah. I don't do like um, horror games. I saw that they're doing Silent Hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, isn't Codeless? Uh, I think is the company that's oh, doing. Oh, is it? I yeah. thought it was uh, no. uh, Hideo Kojima. No, I know, okay. I'm not, not unless he's with this company. Oh. Anyway, Scorn. Scorn. Well, that's what you think. What do you think on this playlist that we're doing that we don't have a name for yet? Yep, it's called Mad Gamers. The fuck. We'll think of something. Yeah, put it in the con- the, the wait. You ain't you. you, ain't gonna be- <laughs> Never mind. I'm stupid. My name's. We Kyle. can't put it in the comments because the video hasn't been released yet. My I name know. is Corey. Shut the fuck up. My name's Jim Bob Fucknuts. 